13th, but you're in luck because today is so good, it's scary. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> you like it? You like that? First up, we're hitting a high note with this lady. She's got the voice and the moves to match. From the hit show Glee, Amber Riley is here. <laughs> taking those wives' tales and superstitions and turning them into $500 cold, hard cash. Oh, y'all are excited about that. Here for that. It's in a fun new game called Superstition Mission. And later, the lucky streak continues when the <laughs> cast of Thicker Than Water pays us a visit, which I can't wait. Yes. It's gonna be awesome. That. So let's cross our fingers and let's do this. Yes. Okay, so today is one of those days that you cannot avoid even if you try. Because it's not just Friday, it's Friday the, the 13th. 13th. <laughs> I know, I'm not, I'm kind of superstitious, but like there's things that people have put in my head that make me just worried, right. yes. even if I never thought about it before. Mm -hmm. And did you guys know that the Stress Management Center and Phobia Institute in North Carolina states that over 17 million people are freaked out and sometimes won't even leave their house because of Friday the 13th. Really? So I wanna know, you all made it to work today. Yes. yes. Where are you at with superstitions? Uh, I'm superstitious about some things, like don't cheers me and not look me in my eyes. Yes, because that means bad sex. Sex for seven years. Seven years, <laughs> yeah. I am not gonna, uh, no, no. I don't care, <laughs> I don't care who it is. I cheers my niece with her sippy cup. I'm like, little girl, <laughs> make eye contact. But Adrian. Jack, make eye contact, I'm playing those games. I didn't know that. Seven you didn't know years that? of bad no, sex. No, I have to. I have to show you that doesn't work. So don't stop doing that. Because she, wait, basically I didn't what know she's that. saying, she didn't know that, and she has great sex all the time. Oh, I, wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. He shows up and delivers. Uh, yes, time. he does. I, I just, yes. All right. So have you guys ever uh, heard of the one where if you drive by a cemetery? You gotta hold, hold your breath. I do that. Me too. I do that. I still do it today because, because if you breathe, you could take home a ghost with you. Yeah, you breathe you in the spirit. You can, for real. You I breathe always in do this. Spirit. I just do this. I don't look. But what, what shape are you making, Tamara? <laughs> Isn't that the cross? No, you can't. That's not the cross? But you're no, not Catholic. I'm down. down. I know I'm not Catholic. Catholic. Side. What is it? This girl said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this I did it. Up now down. Said that's an octagon. And she's <laughs> voguing over here. She's like, I go by cemeteries <laughs> like this. And you know what? When it comes to superstition, I believe in what Stevie Wonder wrote. When you believe in things that you don't understand and you suffer, superstition ain't the way. All right? <laughs> that's what I believe. You know? Because if I step on a crack, you know, in the projects I grew up, step on a crack, break your mother's back, I'm stepping on real crack, not a crack in the room. <laughs> That is what? like, but like, what are you superstitious about? Tamar? I mean, okay, I'm, I'm really superstitious, but I'm so superstitious that I can't tell you what my superstitions are because <laughs> they might not work no more. Really? Absolutely. You're not supposed to tell people what you. That's private. Wait. What I you know, mean? I know there's one that you taught me. Oh. Go ahead, Jimmy. Okay, okay, this is a good one because I do it now. That whenever you serve a cake for like a birthday or a celebration oh, yeah, that or a works. congress. You have to all, like, you take pictures and the cake is nice. Then you go into it and you have to serve yourself the cake with your hands. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's true. Okay, that works. That's true. Because because that makes your wish come true. True story. And we did it for the cake for the testing of this show. Every we time. did. And we got picked up. Yes. Let me tell you. It was her. It was it's her. It's true. I promise. Came. It works. But it only works if everybody does it. That's oh. not true. Yes, it I is. Because I was not in the picture. I remember it was the 100th episode, and I said, no, I'm no, not no, doing no, that. No, no, we, no. Did, we did this when we did the pilot. When the pilot. And we had the pilot. Baby shower, and remember? Don't. What baby shower? Who is Where did you remember it? Obviously took too many sips of the champagne that was there. <laughs> but don't say you weren't there, because I have a picture of you, full-fisted cake yeah. in mouth. No, you don't that remember, was Lonnie? Something that I'm talking about, no, that doesn't count, okay? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No. Yeah, that that because we did it together. That was for this season. But remember the 100th episode? Yeah, I was like, we got to do it so we get the season two pick up. And I was like, I ain't doing it no more because I ain't going to believe in that because I don't believe in superstitions. And we got picked up anyway. Thank you, Lord. No. <laughs> yes, works. Yes, but what you didn't know is I saw you were missing, so I put my other hand in the cake and took it for you. No. So there. No, Asian hand really don't works. go with black hand, okay? No. <laughs> okay, no, it doesn't work. God sees it all the same. <laughs> okay, you guys. Did y'all hear about the single lady 
uh, that puts a wedding cake underneath her pillow and then she dreams about her future husband? No, she wants that to eat That sounds dirty. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. She's greedy. She wants to eat in the middle of the night and stuff. Yes. Uh, uh, that's dumb. I, don't I never did it. Okay. I never did it, but it sounds fun because you get to eat cake during the night or oh. something. <laughs> yeah, you but get hungry. under your pillow? What cake would yeah. you eat with your head laying on top of no, it? No, a wedding cake. It has to be a wedding cake. I right, guess like you if you wrap went it to up. a wedding, and you take it home from yes. the wedding that you attended. You wrap attended. it up. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm really superstitious, guys. I'm a little bit more superstitious yeah, I than tell. I need to be. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> what I want to also know, when you guys, knowing that we all wish for this show and we pray for the show to do well, are there any superstitious things that you do to keep this show? I mean, one thing we do, it's not superstitious, it's faith, but we yeah, pray we before pray. every single yes, show. We have that's to. not superstitious at all. Not, okay? not, I won't say yeah. that. That's not faith. But that's our belief. That's but I feel like if we might it. miss one, I can't read the prompter. Yep. I'm going to sit here like Silent Sam. <laughs> yeah, but if you focus and read your book, you'll know what you're talking about. And <laughs> I don't do that, so <laughs> See, that exactly. I'm saying. <laughs> I need the prayer. But anyway, do y'all do anything before the show, like when you're driving here that's the same or... You don't want to change up something? I drive by myself and I have to listen to ratchet music. Like, the, no, I'm serious. And no, you she's really to, serious about this, guys. And Tamar, whenever I pass your room before we come down here, you oh, she I have to falls like, out. I have to listen to two chains before I come I was out. About to every, say. Like, I'm serious. Like, and I'm coming there and do a little bit, right? It helps. Doesn't it help? It does. I'm telling it you, does. it's amazing. Okay, you guys have been in my room. I always have to have it kind of like zen yes. out. So before I start a show, I fall asleep. I was gonna say it's too zen. Your room looks like a spa. It smells like eucalyptus. Yeah. yeah. And There's vanilla. orchids growing in the center of the room. Yeah. 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 Mommy, <laughs> anything you do before the show? Uh, eat. That's it. <laughs> Make sure I eat my bacon. That's it. Yep. That's the tradition. I eat my crispy bacon. Well, guys, whatever your traditions are, let's stick to them, because we're doing OK. Yeah. We are. We're doing all right. for me. It's Friday the 13th, and you have got to make sure that luck is on your side. So today, we want to test your knowledge of superstitions for a chance to win $500 cold hard cash. Yeah. And a little game we like to call Superstition Mission. Yes! All right, all right, all right. When I say your name, get on your feet. Emil Harris, where you at, girl? Today. Oh, yes, honey. I'm from Brooklyn. Hey! Yeah! Yes! 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 All right, Miss Shante, where do you hail from? And are you superstitious? Bermuda, and yes, I am. Yes! Bermuda. Oh. Right now, this is how it goes. The lovely Tamara and Adrian will list off seven well-known superstitions, and it is your job to find each item that matches it and put it on the shelf. All right? And at the end of the game, whoever has the most right will be taking home $500. Yes, yes, yes. You think you got this, Emil? Oh, I got it. What about you, Punky? I'm taking in five hundred. Oh, all right, all right, all right. This is going to be rapid fire, so listen up. Contestants, go behind your table. Tamara and Adrian, please remove the cloths all at righty. this time. Voila. It's really time to do this, girls. So here we go. Pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. If one of these crosses your path, it is said to be bad luck. What protects you from vampires and evil spirits? For a happy marriage, brides must wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and what else? Breaking one of these could bring you seven years of bad luck. If you spill this, you must throw it over your shoulder. If a stray one of these falls on your cheek, place it on your finger, make a wish, and blow. Superstition mission accomplished. Now let's see how you both do it. Find a blank, pick it up, all day long, you'll have good luck. Hey! Emil, 
real, darling. Did you find that? No, oh, she put a broom. All right, right for you. She just didn't see it. She was looking for a little penny. Uh -huh. okay. All right. If one of these crosses your path, it is said to be bad luck. Bad I got that. <laughs> yes. This is meant to protect you from vampires and evil spirits. Marley! All right now, Lashante. Right, you must wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Now, Emil, did you find the blue garter belt? I did. Yes, she did. Yes. And Miss Shante. Yes. Breaking one of these could bring you seven years bad luck. Seven years. Yes. Yes, we don't play that over here. To ward off bad luck, if you spill the salt, Throw a pinch over your left shoulder. I got that good salt. Yes, yeah. yes. Here for it. If a stray falls on your cheek, blow it and make a wish. I Now, Miss Emile, do you have those lashes? Yes, yes I do. Oh! <laughs> now, I'm hoping Miss Shantae did the same. <laughs> so kind of a not really. Emile got $500. Hard cash. Yes. Now, Miss Shantae, there are no losers here at the real. You will be going hard with go. the real teacher. Yeah. There you go, girl. That's solid. Our next guest may be the only Mercedes you've ever heard sing, but for the past six seasons, she's been killing it with TV's favorite glee club. In her spare time, spare time, she won Dancing with the Stars. Yes! Yes! yes. Today, she's here to talk about Glee's final chapter. Give it up for Amber Riley. Yes. Woo! Because you told me, and you watch it all the time, so you know what's next. Yes. You have to go over there and, and spin, spin the, the wheel. Yes, the heel. Oh. Spin the heel. Be good to me, Lou. Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Ooh. Craziest Ooh. name you label someone, someone in your phone, phone and, and why. why? Good one. Come that, on. That is a good know. one. Ham. It's a good one. Um. <laughs> I think the funniest one is mistake, mistake, mistake with exclamation oh, point. Oh, mistake, so we're not going to answer mistake. that. We don't answer. Right. We don't answer that one. Yeah, we buy that. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, Amber, from winning Dancing with the Stars to performing at the White House, you are no stranger to the stage. Do you ever get nervous? Yes, I do. I, you know what? I actually get the most nervous when I have to sing the national anthem. Yes. Really? I sang it at the Democratic Convention. I sang it at the White House. And it's just one of those things where you just, Aww. you don't want to forget those words. You no. can't, and I forget words very easily. Like, I am known to change a lyric yes. <laughs> real quick if I am singing a song. I will be, I am impromptu on the spot. But the last place that I really want to sing the national anthem is at the Super Bowl. Oh! So, yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. And then I will retire after. <laughs> you would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, your fans have been pretty vocal about wanting you to join the cast of Empire. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> Is this something we can look forward to? I know I will. You know, I know Lee Daniels. Uh-huh. And I love him. Uh-huh. And I would love to be on Empire. That would be the hottest yeah. 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 so Okay, Mark, don't so let it get so off. Good. Family. Okay. I'm on Glee and Empire is on Fox, so you know, maybe. I always say Empire is the black version of Glee. That's what I think. You know what I mean? <laughs> it is. Exactly. Okay, yeah. we'll just break out in song. Exactly. <laughs> so, just so you know, Glee happens to be not only one of our favorite shows, yeah. but one of everybody's favorite yeah. shows. Yeah. This, but the series finale is next Friday, March 20th. Oh, I, know. I know you guys have already wrapped filming, so tell me, did you get anything good from the set? Oh, girl, yes. Tell yes. us. I have no shame. I do. <laughs> I gave them, I gave them six seasons. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. I heard that. <laughs> what are some of the Sorry best about here? The clothes. Oh, I, yeah. get, I get, you know, it's, I'm a plus size girl and it is very hard to find 
good plus size clothes and we have an mm -hmm. amazing costume department. Mm -hmm. So when I find something that fits my behind and it makes me look good, I'm gonna take it home. That's right. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes yeah. did have some fly skirts. She did, she had some fly skirts. <laughs> Glee, everybody. <laughs> uh, well, this is, I like that she just keeps it real. And would you say that that's part of the reason why so many people loved Glee's Mercedes Jones is because you were so easy to relate to. I think, I think a lot of people love Mercedes because she was very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that every character on the show represented somebody in high school. Mm -hmm. And we all identified, because I had older people telling me how much they love the show down to their grandchildren. I think it's because they really just identified with um, the vulnerability in each of the characters. Yeah. Wow, with wow. that being said, any favorite fan moments? I had a great fan moment in Forever 21, a lady came up to me and she said, this is all your fault. And I said, huh? <laughs> and she said, well, my daughter is here, has me shopping. And it wasn't until she started watching Mercedes Jones on Glee and all of her colorful pants and mm -hmm. her skinny jeans that she actually wanted to shop and look nice. Which, and that like really made me smile. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. So Amber, you know a thing or two about being a high school student. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to see if you really have what it takes to make it to the head of the class in a game of musical chairs. Uh -huh. When the music starts, we'll all circle these desks. As soon as we hear the bell, we'll race yeah. to grab a seat. The student left standing is out, and our teachers will remove the desk until there is one pupil left sitting at the end of the game. Now, what's high school without a diverse student body, right? Right. Well, here it's no different. Jeannie's the jock. Who? <laughs> All right, then you've got Lonnie as the band geek. <laughs> Tamara is the rebel. What? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the pregnant Amber rebel. Amber is homecoming the queen. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and I <laughs> am head cheerleader. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! All right, class, we go when the music starts. Ready? Hit it! Okay.
Ancient citizens, it's Friday the 13th, and evil superstitions have invaded our lives. Fear not, friends. We're here to save you from some of the most common bad luck mishaps. But no superhero can conquer superstitions without a trusty sidekick. So we're teaming up with our loyal partner, Food. It's Food to the Rescue! Now, even superheroes gotta unwind, so I know I'm not the only one who has movies that they watch over and over and over again, right? It's a lonely life. I know. <laughs> and when those DVDs get scratched up, it gets my cape in a bunch. Holy smokes, Adrian! Don't worry, Lonnie. I have a secret superpower that gets those scratches out. It's Bananas to the Rescue! <laughs> you take a banana peel. You actually can save the banana for a snack when you're watching the movie. <laughs> so you're gonna take the banana peel just like this, and then you're gonna take your scratch disc and rub the inside of the banana peel all over it to seal up any cracks, like this. Wow. Now just make sure that you guys use glass cleaner before you put it back in your DVD player, and your DVDs will be good as new. <laughs> Tamar, ah. what superstition are you taking off the streets today? Well, Adrian, I've heard that breaking a mirror means seven years bad luck, but pieces of broken glass all over isn't just unlucky, it's dangerous. Holy cow, Tamar! Don't you fret, Adrian. I'm gonna show you my trick to get it cleaned up in a super snap. Bread to the rescue! Now, when you have broken glass, like I have here, you can't use your hands to pick it up. No, not even me, the superhero Tamar. You have to take a slice of bread and pat it on top like that. And then the glass will attach itself to the bread like this. This is really wow. good for picking up the really, really small pieces. And then once you're done, you throw that broken glass attached to it in the garbage. Pow! Hold on to your wig, Tamar. There's nothing worse to see in a girl in a wig with the lace front showing. Ooh, Holy guacamole yeah. line! <laughs> Don't be scared, girl, because I got you. Don't worry, if you're caught in a bad luck lace front situation, I have just the thing that will save the day. It's tea to the rescue! <laughs> First, boil some water like I have here. Then you take some dark tea bags and put them all in the pot, brew it in the water. When it's brewed, take the tea off, and then you dip the bags, take it out, and then you take your lace front and dip it in the tea. What? Now you're gonna leave them in for about 20 minutes, but check to make sure that it's dark enough or it's not too dark. So I need it a little dark for me, so I gotta leave it in there for about 25 minutes. If you wanna match your super duper skin tone, this is what you have to do. And when you're done, it should come out looking like this. 